Now we'll add area CB3 and an inlet at the low point there in area CB3. I can add a new area right from the area definition dialog since I have it open. I'll click add area, give it the area ID number 3, click OK. I'm going to use this shape that I've placed for the drainage area, so I'll select that shape and accept it. That fills out the drainage area, the C value is still there, and the, and the uh, time of concentration of 5 minutes. Under sub areas, click automatic delineation, and under computations, click compute discharge and apply. That takes care of the area. Now I'll go ahead and switch back to the definition option and click the edit node. I'll add a new node called CB3. Same type of node, just need to zoom in and locate it tangent to my curb invert. So I'll click the data point and locate it there at the low point. Everything else should be the same. Elevation should be the same settings, junction losses, discharge, and computations would be computed because it found the area. So I'll click apply. And now I'm done with CB3. Go ahead and zoom back out and take a look at the three together.